Today's Tips Du Jour mailbag question comes to us from the International Space Station. I can't be right. Robert, what is your favorite brand and type of strings? Chris at the International Space Station. Well, I guess it is right. Now, this is a trick question, right, Chris? I mean, this is one of those things that my wife, you know, if she ever asked me, hey, did this dress make me look fat? You run. You don't want to answer that kind of question. Uh, I assume you're talking steel strings, um, but there's a lot you can talk about in, in nylon and steel and brands, and I want to kind of stay away from brands. What I would like to address is, what do you want the string to do? What is the purpose of the string? And there's a friend of mine in Australia named Trevor Gore that actually wrote a book about designing and building a guitar, and he touches on that topic uh, in quite a bit in, in his books. And I wish he were here to help us answer this question because I think it would be a, a, a great topic that he could uh, he could address. So I, it's a shame he's not here. But uh, wait a minute, uh, and Trevor, Trevor Gorn. Hey, how you doing, Trevor? I'm fine, buddy. What are you doing here? You know, I. I'm, I'm just trying to answer a question from the International Space Station, but it's a good thing that you just showed up because maybe you could help us elaborate this oh, a little bit. Maybe, yeah. I'm well, look, here. Spacey right now, so maybe <laughs> sort this out. Let me get you a stool here. Let's answer this question. There you go. So the question is, um, what's your favorite brand and type of string? And I said, you know, that's one of those trick questions we probably shouldn't even talk about because there's so many different likes and dislikes and brands and people swear by things. It's almost become a religion. But uh, what I would like to address is, what does the string even do? Why even have strings on a guitar? Well, you could play a silent guitar and you wouldn't need any strings. You could play a space guitar and you wouldn't be able to hear it. There you go. But um, strings are the engine of the guitar. They are what actually drives the top. Right. And uh, you've only got a certain amount of horsepower in those strings. And um, nearly everybody uses the same engine, irrespective of the type of uh, guitar they're playing. If you need a big guitar, ideally you'd need big strings, but nearly everybody plays 12s on a steel string, so you've only got one size of engine there. The bluegrass guys who like a bit more sound might go a little bit heavier and use 13s, right. but at the end of the day, a, uh, a Beetle engine won't drive a Mack truck, it just stop one engine to deal with and you have to deal with that the best you can. So that's the problem. That's the problem. So my advice to uh, Chris at the International Space Station is use your horsepower wisely. The bigger the uh, the box, the vehicle, the more horsepower you need in that motor to drive the strings. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. And most guitars are just too big for their own good. There you go. Thanks for dropping by, Trevor. I really appreciate no that. Problem. And go get his book because he really elaborates on that topic and a bunch of other topics. Thanks for the question, Chris. Be safe up there.